Well, so what is really interesting is I think across the global economy, so we have almost 600,000 members, candidates, and associates across the globe in more than 175 countries. I think we've lost count of how many countries we're in. Um, and we are more similar than we are different across the globe. Okay. And I do think maybe depending on the size of the economy, the needs are different. Um, but so we see a whole spectrum of needs on the technical side, and then we see very commonality of needs on non-technical and mindset skills. So we are looking in cybersecurity for good communicators, good problem solvers, people who desire mm -hmm. to be lifelong learners, analytical and critical thinkers, creative individuals. And then on the skills side, yeah. It's sort of a wide range, but I would tell you that for the past three years, the top skill that we're looking for in cyber profession is actually cloud security. Right, okay. And, and the p pandemic drove that. And then we're looking for expertise in zero trust implementation. Okay. We're looking for expertise in cyber operations and threat analysts and you name it. You actually, when we look across the skill sets, yeah. We have gaps everywhere. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, AI is yeah, one of the of new course, topics. Yes, I'm going to AI. ask you. Yeah, okay, I'm we'll talk about that, that later. Of course, okay. yeah. um, so going back to the question about AI, right, okay. which is the necessary question. So how is okay. AI going to transform the training landscape? So this is just, you know, there's so many different angles we can talk about. I want to talk about one aspect of AI, which is not AI security, so to speak. But if you think about AI, and AI, you know, it's really artificial intelligence. It's been around a long time. It manifests itself in many different ways. We have machine learning. And so for us, with our training this year, we introduced adaptive learning, okay. which is really machine learning in our CISSP training, in our CCSP, which is okay. our cloud certification, and then we're gonna add it to some others. Um, and what that actually does, and it's pretty fantastic, is it has a combination of allows an individual to self-assess what their competence in a particular area is, and also based on their responses and their interactivity with the education, the program will move people along faster if they determine you understand this area. Oh wow. And okay. so when so you think about training. when you think you're studying for certification and we say it takes 40 hours, well it takes some people 80 oh, hours for CISSP. And if this is going to shave 25% okay. of the time off your learning and allow you to sit for your exam more efficiently, it's a fantastic so thing. So it's really customized and tailored to each individual. Each individual's experience oh. tailors it to them because, again, it's it's wow. the machine learning does based on other people's performance. It makes recommendations to you, but you are also self-assessing at the same time. So it really does oh, become cool. very personalized. So that's one aspect of in the education certification space of how AI is going to help move us forward. Cool. Now. What are we really, what is the world talking about when they're talking about AI and they're talking about AI security? And so there is securing the tech of AI. Yeah, there is. And the, and the great news is from that perspective, the, there is considerations we need to make to say, how is this different? But when we talk about securing a product lifecycle mm -hmm. from conception basically until when that product exits the market, those are security principles that we already have yeah. hundreds of thousands of people that understand and know how to do. So we need to just put the security principles we know in the AI that's use right, case that's right. yeah, and yeah, then yeah, understand yeah, is yeah. there some tweaking we need to yeah. do. I think the other part of it that is going to be more complex mm -hmm. and is probably going to end up requiring us to rely more on those non-technical skills is when AI is being used mm -hmm. in the outputs of AI and in a cyber scenario, mm -hmm. how are you gonna evaluate the decisions that the mm -hmm. AI is making for you? And know, are those valid recommendations? Yeah. Are they not valid recommendations? What happens, what's my risk if I accept right, that yeah. recommendation or that's I don't? Right. And I think that's when the superpower of analytical thinking and problem solving, critical thinking is really gonna come into play 
um, in terms of how we secure our businesses mm. or our nations, because we need to make sure that if we're using AI to make decisions, that's right. that we're making good decisions. Yeah. I think there's going to be a need for a review of policies, right? To, yes. to assess how much risk are we willing to tolerate that's coming from the outputs of this AI, right? Yes. And yes. require manual intervention in some right. cases, right? Right, and if your AI becomes compromised, so it could, you could have you could have a totally pristine AI and it still doesn't make a great recommendation mm. to you, but if your AI has become compromised, that's right. Yeah. Then that's just a new vector for threat actors to get at you. Yeah. So it's it's a really interesting situation, but I think mostly what we hear out in the community nowadays is people are really thinking of AI as both. Um, opportunity and risk. That's right. And so understand that it's not like this one size fits all answer. It's we really need to be purposeful about how we think about securing mm. AI from all the different angles. I think there's a lot of opportunities coming from this uh, latest generation of uh, AI technology, really. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of uh, conversations around how it can increase the productivity of cybersecurity professionals, like you know, uh, in terms of generating in threat intelligence report, right? Right, making sense of all the threat intelligence. That's right, you can't, yeah. Even if you're using one of the many wonderful technology providers that give you threat intelligence, no one can absorb all the threat intelligence right. that is available to and them. And summarize, you know, the key right, points, right. right? And so if through different kinds of technology, of which AI mm. will be a part, you can help make sense of that threat intelligence, that's a fantastic thing. Yes, yeah. So um, I'm coming to my last question, really. Okay. So, you know, about talking about AI and then looking at the skills uh, landscape in cybersecurity over the last two decades, right? The question that many cybersecurity professionals have is, is AI going to take away my job, right? Your thoughts? <laughs> I don't think you have anything to worry about. I but, agree. but I think it's going to change. So our new workforce day is going to come out very soon, and it will say that there are now 5 million cybersecurity professionals around the globe. Mm. Fantastic news. We increased the workforce by like 8.7% this year. Well, demand increased by 12.6%. So we now have 4.5 million unfilled jobs in cybersecurity. So that's a, that's a massive gap to start with. I think what AI is gonna do is it's going to help us um, not panic as much about the fact that that's we a have such a yeah. big gap. Yeah. But I think what it's also gonna do is it's going to shift mm. what we think of as an entry level job in cyber. Exactly. And that is That's work right. we need to do and things we need to prepare for. So as the machine takes away, and I saw this in accounting actually, mm. as the machine takes away the entry level work, yeah. then people are coming into their careers at a different place. So how do we prepare mm. cyber professionals for starting their careers at a different place than they That's have right. historically yeah. Yeah. for decades? Yeah. That's but, right. but the human is still necessary. I have not actually, other than a few technology providers, um, I haven't actually met anyone who believes that AI is going to replace jobs. It may change, it, your mm. job may change as a result, but thankfully, our cybersecurity professionals love to learn. Yeah, uh, and they're always uh, curious. Uh, uh, absolutely. And so <laughs> we have the totally right profile uh, so, for, uh, uh, for them for, to, to be prepare. successful. Right, yes, yes, yes. So when do you think that we should uh, have a catch-up conversation to see how AI has changed the cybersecurity oh, landscape? I, I think it's even in so six fast. months. I, I think agree. even six months. That's let's right, say, it's moving so this, fast. Let's, let's in March. We yeah. should talk again yeah, that's because right. I think... Um, I mean, it's really different than it was six months ago. Oh, yeah, ago. I, I totally agree. And, yeah, six months. Yes, okay, okay. great. That's the deal then. Thank right. you, Claire, for your time today. Thank oh, you so Jane, much. Thank you so much. It was wonderful to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.